Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you a few differences between mechanical equipment and pipe accessories. We're going to start with a pipe accessory and we're going to study its behavior. Then we're going to jump into mechanical equipment and study its behavior. And we're going to compare both a little bit. See you in Revit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, so what I'm gonna show you here is the difference between a Revit family that has been categorized as a pipe accessory versus a Revit family that is categorized as mechanical equipment. So first we're gonna start with a pipe accessory. All right, so I'm gonna drag and drop this sprinklerizer manifold from Victolic, the 747M. And I want you to see how friendly this is. See, so this is a six inch pipe, and obviously this is not the right location to place it. I just want you to see the behavior. See, I can place it here, or I can place it here, or I can place it here. And every time I place it, it automatically adjusted to the pipe size that was dropped in. It broke into the pipe, so it separated the pipe into the inlet and the outlet, and it automatically took the orientation of the pipe right so this is beautiful and the way this is able to do this is because it, let's go to edit family so you see what's happening so if i go here to my family types i can see that all those dimensions are based off of a lookup table see lookup table name and then each one of those parameters is taken from that lookup table see drain body diameter dimension f dimension e etc so that's what allows that family to flex automatically now the disadvantage of that is that if i take this pipe and I change from sprinkler wet to, let's say, foam water, the system goes through because this is just a pipe accessory, right? Now, if instead of that, I had this family and I change it to a mechanical equipment, and I'm gonna save now, and I'm gonna save it under a different name. And now, let me just delete this, and let me delete this. This is another thing about pipe accessories. Once you delete, then it heals the gap in between the two pieces of pipe, right? Now, if I drag and drop that mechanical equipment family, here it is. But see, it's not smart enough to orient with the pipe and break into the pipe. It would just drop it there. So I would have to manually uh, rotate and even change the pipe size, right? So let's say you want to change this family, which outlet is six inches right now. You would go to the driving parameter, which in this case is nominal radius. So instead of being three, it would be, let's say for this pipe, which is a three inch, you change it to a 1.5 inch radius, and then this would be a three inch outlet and inlet. But the advantage of having it as mechanical equipment is that you end up with something like this, on which you can have at the discharge, one system, sprinkler wet, and then at the inlet, you can have a fire main. So those are two different systems. And then you could have the sprinkler drain as a different system as well. 